What's up guys, this episode we're gonna be diving into StimulusJS, we're gonna talk about some more advanced uses of this and we're gonna go build out a little Twitter feed where I can show you a couple good use cases of stimulus and we're gonna use it with Ajax requests and uh, kind of talk about how this would work with Action Cable as well. So you're gonna get a good example of how you can use this for a few more advanced situations and uh, a lot of you guys have been asking how to use this with Ajax and Action Cable and all that so we're gonna address that in this episode. Um, and the answer is going to be a lot more simple than you think it might be. So um, stay tuned and we will dive into building this out. So let's dive into installing Stimulus. Uh, now this has really kind of not changed too much since we first set this up. You're going to create your new Rails application. I've got one here that's in Rails 5.2. Um, we're going to use Yarn Add Stimulus. And that's going to be as simple as that is. It's going to download Stimulus and get us all set up and all the dependencies. And then we're going to grab um, this Webpack example here. And this is going to be what we'll paste into our JavaScript application pack tag. Um, so app JavaScript application.js, we're gonna just go paste this in here. Um, and what this does is it basically sets up stimulus, starts the application, and then we require all the controllers um, from a local directory inside JavaScript packs. Um, and that's going to grab all the JS files and require those for us and then it will transform them into the way that it needs to load things. So if you take a look at some of these examples, if you want to manually uh, require these one by one, where you have to register each of them individually, you can set them up explicitly like so, um, but that can be taken care of for you automatically. So this is kind of nice that if you use the Webpack version, you don't have to define any of that, as long as your naming is defined correctly. So you wanna use underscores in your controller files, and um, if you happen to nest them in folders, that works just fine, but your identifier was going to use a double hyphen in the data controller attribute. So keep that in mind as you go along. So we're gonna do that. We're going to go to the head tag of our application here. We're gonna add JavaScript uh, pack tag down here to load the application pack. 